Dr. Tony here. Today we're going to talk about a ruptured disc or more commonly known as a herniated, herniated disc. Um, I think before we talk about that, let's, let's uh, discuss what the underlying issue is here. Uh, most people or most healthy spines are not going to herniate. It's, it's someone that's been working over a period of time, sometimes five, maybe 10 years, uh, and developing this condition, and then we're going to see a herniation. Now, typically what's taking place is we're going to see a spine that is going to go through a process of what's called degeneration, or more specifically, the fluid in the disc is going to, going to be in, uh, to decrease. As that happens, as you can see here, you're going to start developing little cracks and fissures into the disc material, uh, which will allow what's called the nucleus, the middle portion of the disc, to begin to break through the outer fibers, or what is called the annulus. Now, as that happens, and we're continuing our normal activities, we're moving, twisting, we allow this material to begin to ease its way through every little fiber until one day we either pick the sock up off the floor, we sneeze or something like that, and then the material then basically busts out the back almost like a balloon, okay? This is why most commonly you're going to see people come into our office and they're going to tell us, I don't know what I did with this. Well, it's what you've been doing for the last probably five or ten years that's caused this condition to happen. Now the question becomes what to do about this. Now some of these disc injuries uh, that are not severe can actually heal on their own uh, with rest, with ice, but there's also a category that just won't get better on their own. Now fortunately about 25% of these may go for surgery, uh, but most of them are going to respond to conservative care and especially with the advanced type of therapies we, we have at our facility. Now the, the advanced therapies that we use specifically, one is called spinal decompression and the other one is, is cold laser treatment. They both have different functionalities, but are, are very good at correcting disc injuries such as this without surgery. Uh, we have other options that we can use that are non-conservative, such as uh, pain injections. Um, there are some risks associated with that, but they do help control uh, some of the pain and discomfort from this. Uh, and if the patient is not responding, or maybe you have some symptoms such as a weak leg or maybe a weak arm from the, from the disc herniation, uh, then it's an immediate surgical consult. Now, I, I understand because we've, we've, I've treated thousands of these cases over the last 16, 17 years. In fact, we know that statistically that 85% of all people that have chronic lower back issues, and this is probably one of the worst ones that you can have, are also at the same time chronically depressed. So do not wait around. Do not uh, hope that this is going to go away on its own. Seek treatment for it and do it immediately.